Uh, one of the bad guys is Vincent Gallo, a crazy man who is selling his own escort services on his official website. Not really something you'd want to promote to the traditional family values conservative Christian crowd, so I can see why Ben Shapiro didn't mention that. Including the reemergence of Vincent Gallo, who was kind of a storied actor back in the day before he was barred by Hollywood for basically being a Trump supporter. Don't worry guys, everything on my personal website is super ironic and these t-shirts I sell don't say anything about my political beliefs. Yeah, this is uh, pretty cringe, Vincent. This is pr pretty, pretty fucking lame here. It's pretty obvious that he's trying to get a reaction out of people, but I still think that he's kind of a nut job. Guys, I was only ironically appearing in this Daily Wire film, okay? Anyway, there was nothing wrong with his performance. He was pretty good, but he was barely in the movie, so whatever. He's not an untalented actor and he he actually wrote and directed a pretty great film called Buffalo 66, so check that one out because it's pretty great. We also talked about that film on my podcast, Sardonicast. See, Benny, just because you enjoy a piece of art from someone doesn't mean that you necessarily tolerate their political beliefs. What is that called when you separate art from the, um, um, Bible? Yeah, that's it.